We're Alex and Marco the Vaca Brothers, and this series is about new Nordic cuisine. We'll be traveling across three Nordic capitals, exploring the culinary revolution that's turned this region into one of the most dynamic food destinations on Earth. Along the way, we'll be meeting locals, nice meeting you guys. eating, drinking, and having a great time. Hope you're hungry. In episode three, we're traveling from Copenhagen to Stockholm. 9.47 in the morning and we are about to leave. Who is it? Who is it with the camera in my face? The last night, that was wild at Warbix. Let's now. go, let's go, man. Well, as if we didn't have enough beer last night, we are heading to Carlsberg Brewery. We're gonna do a brewery tour. Have one last beer here in Copenhagen before we head over to Stockholm. Well, we safely arrived to the Carlsberg Brewery and uh, we're gonna go do a little sampling and a tour of the brewery. Whenever I come to breweries, I always kind of feel like I'm in Willy Wonka's chocolate factory. <laughs> Where are the Oompa <laughs> I don't know, I, but that's the question. Yeah. They made a lot of beer in the first years. And lots of late night testing just to make sure <laughs> the beer is right. <laughs> but this was also the start of the industrialization in Denmark. Yeah. Because this was the first place uh, where you lived on your workplace and you didn't have a family. Uh, so you put everything into your job. All right, so we are learning a little bit about the history of this place. And now we're going to go behind the scenes at the Jacobson Brewery. Whoa! <laughs> it's like that scene in Star Wars, now the walls are coming together. <laughs> we are now underground in, the, yeah, basically in the basements of what used to be the place where they store all of the beer that Carlsberg made, which was supplying all of Scandinavia and a bunch of the world. It's also where they used to store the intergalactic spaceships. Yes, which the Millennium they used Falcon to transport right down here. <laughs> all of the beer across Scandinavia. I think they need to start having house parties down here. Be really cool. Tonight we have the crazy techno party in the underground. So, are we ready to do some beer tasting? We certainly are. Okay. Do you have any particular interest you want me to take into account? Uh, make it good. Make it good? Yeah. <laughs> I will. Well, what we have here are uh, four of the Jacobson beers, which are actually made on site here at the brewery. We have the Jacobson Velvet and Ale. We have the extra pilsner, we have the sas blonde, and in the end, the most popular one, the brown ale. Let's Sweet. drink it. <laughs> mm. Ooh. There he is. There he is. All right. Yeah. Uh, to the airport. We're headed to Stockholm, Sweden. Sweden. Alright guys, we just got to the airport. I'm stoked. I've, we've never been to Sweden before, so it's gonna be new. We've heard good things about Stockholm. It's supposedly really pretty. The Venice of the North, they say. The Venice of the North. Venice of the North. Let's see. Bye, Copenhagen. You're awesome. Stay awesome. but I have a feeling I like, I like this country. Welcome to Sweden. Yeah. Uh, I can't sit though. It's time to explore the city. We're only here for like less than like 24 hours, so it's, it's time to turn and burn. Hop 
hop in. <laughs> Say hello to our friends here. Hello. Hi. Amelia, it's going. Rebecca. All right, so we are showered, cleaned, and ready to go explore oh, Stockholm. Okay. We're gonna start off with the Spears Museum. My liver is already hurting from the last couple I think days. by the end of this trip, our bloodstream will not be blood. It will just be like alcohol. I think it will just be pure happiness. Stockholm is actually made up of 14 islands, and in total there's 30,000 islands in the whole Swedish archipelago. So we just went from downtown Stockholm to another island called Jurdegard, which is where the majority of the museums are found. Guys, this place is so pretty. My god. And we seriously scored with the weather. This is just an absolutely stunning evening. Super warm and just really happy to be here in Stockholm. So my buddy Nick Iverson and his girlfriend Kabi are right here. Let's go say hello. Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> How's it going, guys? Welcome. Hey, how are you? Hey. All right, guys, we just got to the Spirit Museum and we're going to do a little bit of a taste test. Yes, yeah, so we have Nadia here, who is sommelier. How would you? How yeah, I'm the drinking expert. And what are we going to try today? Uh, you're going to have some sweetest things and uh, here we have some uh, that one smells nice. That this one's got the horseradish smell. It, it, and I like it's it. also like pepper rod. Okay. Right. Not liking that pepper rod. The other one, the pink one, kind of smells nice. It's like rosy. And How do you say cheers in in Swedish? Skål. Notes of horseradish. Horse manure. I like that. That's good. I can feel the hair growing on my chest. It was better than I expected. All right, more alcohol. Horseradish? I mean, I'm not gonna lie, horseradish is like my least favorite condiment. I have nightmares of like... Just try it. Waking up covered in horseradish sauce. You're a weird person. Oh. Now we say skull. Skull. Into your skull. <laughs> no? no? I have a question about yeah. Midsummer. I used to live with some Swedish girls, and she told me that you guys dance around a large phallic object yes, during midsummer, and you sing a song, like a drinking song about bumblebees. Can yeah, we clarify? What, what, what was she talking this about? Is, this is the, the penis pole. Exactly, that we dance around. But why are the balls on the top? Hey. You never know. <laughs> We're Swedes. <laughs> <laughs> what but is the, this? The funny thing is, this is from the old days, and you was putting some uh, vodka in it and too, and then we was going over the fields and spreading the seats, and it's really true. I mean, we, I'm not joking now. This is just to be a good harvest. Learn something new every day. <laughs> Mark's just finishing up inside at the Spirit Museum, but I've just had to come outside right now. It's so nice, you guys. Like, there's something about those nice, warm Scandinavian summer sunsets. Where are we headed? So now it's time for dinner. We've got a beautiful sunset looking at the Venice of the North. We're gonna go hop onto the other island on this boat. Let's go. Interesting fact. This right here is a uh, freshwater lake, and that's the Baltic Sea behind me. And where I'm standing right now is a lock. It's actually sinking. So this whole area right here is gonna have to be destroyed because they have to rebuild it. Well, we've only been here for a couple of hours, but I'm very fast to fall in love with Stockholm. This place is absolutely gorgeous. The people are beautiful and friendly. And uh, now we've just walked across this bridge to Southern Malm. It's an island. And uh, where are we going? So we're going, going to dinner at Woodstock Home, like Woodstock and Stockholm together. And it's supposed to be, it's a new restaurant, but there's been a lot of great things happening there. Good news, so we're gonna go check it out. As we, we were walking through this place and we just could not, we couldn't just walk right through it. So we've had to sit down and oh yeah, have a beer. How about a slow motion beer shot? Oh, slow mo. Cheers, skull, 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 skull. You make eye contact, right? Yeah, so the Swedish way of toasting is that you look someone in the eye and then you drink. You can say skull. Skull. Yeah, and, and you drink. Drink. Now you can raise your hand. 
and you look again. You look again? Yeah. And this, they say, is that um, in Viking times, you, people apparently used to, to poison the drink of your enemy. And if you can look me in the eye twice, you wouldn't have poisoned my drink. So that was a beautiful sunset beer. And now, dinner time. Are you hungry? I'm starving. Is this place called Marvin. Woodstock? Yeah, so it's Woodstock. It's called, uh, it's Woodstock Home. Uh, it's kind of like a play on words there. Eh? Yeah, it's like Woodstock and Stockholm. Woodstock. Home. Woodstock Home. Yeah. My name is Simon. And you're at Wood Stockholm. This restaurant started out unlicensed in the, the head chef's uh, mom's garage where people didn't know what they were going to eat. They just know how much they were going to pay and that we would more or less guarantee that they would be satisfied. And that later on evolved into this. People walk out of here with a smile on their face and a full belly. So radishes are really important in um, Nordic cooking because before the arrival of the potato, root vegetables were one of the only things that you could grow up here in this climate. So we have some carrots and radishes the kimchi sauce and some breadcrumbs. We're told that double dipping is okay. That's good. That's real good. How nice is that carrot? It's a beautiful carrot. It's like all in perfect. Love it. It just keeps getting better. We have poached oysters in a butter and white wine sauce garnished with roasted almond. Swedish oysters are said to be some of the best in the world because they're grown in cold waters and there's only 15 tons harvested per year. So we are, it's really special and I'm excited to try this thing. I've heard a lot about it. Oh my god. Like butter, baby, like butter. Bye guys, thank you. Bye. Peace. All right, next stop is the club. Oh. This is regular me. This is how I started this trip, and this is how I feel now. Yeah. Well guys, it's been another amazing day up here. I can't believe that we started today in Denmark and now we're finishing it in Stockholm. It's insane. And Stockholm is a seriously cool city. Like we just got here, first time here, but it's got super tons of style and this club's awesome. And so we have a little bit more here to explore tomorrow. So tune in for that. Episode coming out in a few days. In the meantime, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel for new travel videos every week. As always, stay curious, keep exploring, We'll see you guys on the road. Peace. Don't give up the fight. Don't give up the fight. Don't give up the fire. <laughs> <laughs>